Our director, Michael Bay, likes to shoot in a chaotic situation. We call it Bayos. I've never seen a director shoot so many setups in a day as quickly as he does, and they're complicated. In our first three days of filming, we got 150 setups in three days. In a given sequence, every angle might be three different locations in completely different cities or locations. Alamogordo, New Mexico, White Sands, intercut with Egypt at Luxor and Cairo and shots of Jordan, and it's all mix and match. We also shot on IMAX. Uh, that was a new difficulty for us. In a lot of the shots in the forest fight when Optimus is full body, on an IMAX screen is basically one-to-one -one scale. The forest fight was a three-way battle against Optimus. We had to create a lot of CG, uh, little bits and pieces that would be stuck to the robot. You know, I wanted the audience to feel like this was a huge, heavy, mechanical device that was really breaking and losing bits and pieces inside, plus all the liquid to go along with it. Devastator, our largest guy, the guy that tears the pyramid apart, uh, took 72 hours of frame to render. And he's composed of six to eight gigantic earth-moving vehicles. First, we needed to build all the vehicles he was constructed out of, all the individual robots that those vehicles transformed into. And then from all those parts, we started to assemble uh, this massive robot, Devastator. One thing that was kind of funny that happened is, you know, when we showed Michael Bay the final model of Devastator, uh, he was not happy with the level of detail. And we were already dealing with the biggest model that we had on the show or any of the Transformers movies at that point. And uh, we had to go back and almost doubled the model in terms of complexity. The military hardware he was able to wrangle on set was, uh, you'd, you'd show up on set and suddenly there'd be three tanks and two Bradley fighting vehicles and we were gonna have a flyover from B-1 bombers. F-22s flying over the set that day. F-16s were gonna do flyovers and drop flares on us. You know, we had eight cameras pointing at it and they made it look sexy as hell on film and it was a lot of fun. The aircraft carrier sequence was uh, a very, very difficult sequence all by itself. We basically hired a whole team of people that just worked on that sequence alone. And it involved every discipline that we know. Uh, gigantic quarter scale burning fire miniatures and explosions and uh, debris pieces that shrapnel and that sort of thing that are composited in. There are thousands of pieces uh, put into the aircraft carrier demolition section that regard. Little people, we, sh we created people, we shot ILM people tumbling and falling, we have simulations, we, have, we had to uh, litter the deck with all the airplanes and different things that would be parked on the deck that could no longer be there because now it's all CG. So you have to replicate everything that would be in the real world just so you can tear it all to pieces. Everything about Transformers is big, huge. Uh, it was difficult. The shots were lengthy, the assets were large, they were so big we used up more memory and space at ILM than any other film in the history of the company. And at the same time, the crew had a lot of fun because they loved the work they were doing. <laughs>